So I've managed to make a small amount of progress on the shopping cart project for the Odin project. I spent about three hours this week going through it. And I'll be honest, about an hour of it has been reworked. So I was going to do it as a mobile first design. And then I didn't have like the icons added in. So I just started designing it for desktop. And I thought, no, that was really bad. So I went back, reworked the nav bar to be mobile first and then work for desktop. There's a few things which I've learned. There's a few things that I still need to improve on and investigate. And as I start working on this project, there's a few things where I'm just like, I don't like this and I need to change this. For instance, I wanted to get a kind of neon style going on for the logo. And I do not like that anymore. As you can tell, it kind of overflows into the body, which isn't great. So I'm probably just gonna look at doing something else for the kind of logo section of this nav bar. If we go to mobile first, I'll show you what I've been doing. So I'm, I'm classing mobile as anything tablet size or smaller. And as you can tell, it changes the symbol back. It's kind of reactive. It does pause a little bit. So if I go over to the code, I run it every half second, this uh, check to see if the window has resized, but click it and it goes up and down with a nice little animation. Go to home and it hides the navigation. You can go to shop, so forth. Search, I haven't got anything working for search yet, but that's good. I do have that working as well. That's really nice. And again, as I said, over tablet size, you've got a proper navigation working there. There is a slight issue. If I go to full screen, I'll just refresh this. The nav slightly moves. I don't know if you could spot that, but it does slightly move. And that's to do with the contents in this body. So it's slightly frustrating and I will fix that in a minute. But what was quite interesting in getting this mobile working, I said, I've got the set timeout to check whether or not the window resizes, but I found out this little function. So windows match media, and I'm using that to determine whether or not it's mobile, as I said, max width. And that just basically checks if the document is within this max width. So it checks if it is in the media query, like the current media query, and it's pretty cool. I really like that. The resizing, I did have a look on Stack Overflow for that. But again, it, it's quite a nice and simple little way of doing it. The resize, having a, an event listener on the window itself. Got the toggle nav, and that is just to have the drop down for the navigation working. That was pretty simple. And then I have a few conditional rendering within the navigation itself. So this is, it will only show the burger bar if it's mobile. But what I found really interesting was doing this conditional class within React. I've done it in Vue and I was thinking, how do you do it in React? But it's actually very similar. Basically, it's just doing a ternary operator. Is the mobile? Yes. Then add in this class. Otherwise, nothing. And you can add in a few class names here. So I would have two class names there. And then it would also add in these if those conditions are true. And I really like that. Again, there was a few fiddly bits. So as I mentioned on the drop down, if I click home, it hides the navigation again, and that's all to do with this on click function. But again, I have to make sure it is only doing that on mobile and nothing else. Cause otherwise if it was on tablet, then it like messes this up a little bit, but I do have one issue. So this is currently published live and I'm hosting it on GitHub pages, but if I go to the shop page, as you can tell, the shop links work fine. So does the basket and I've got an item detail one as well. All works fine. But if I hit enter, it doesn't think it exists. And I think that's just because of dynamic pages, but I want to Google that and make sure that my understanding of it is correct. But just to recap a few things that I've been learning this week and a few things that I need to improve on. There's the Windows Media Match Query, which is a very interesting way of determining whether or not it's within the media query. And I can use that to render mobile components efficiently in React. There is also the resize function, which I learned from Stack Overflow. That was quite an interesting way of handling it. And also the conditional class names using a ternary operator. And then a few issues that I need to improve on. 
the slight movement in the navbar that needs fixing and i want to understand why my page doesn't render when i type it as i said I believe that's due to dynamic loading but i want to make sure that it actually sinks in my head what it does if you want to watch me build this live then i will be over on twitch wednesday at half seven british time if not if you have enjoyed this video then please make sure you hit that like button and if you'd like to see more then please subscribe hope you all have a nice day and i'll catch you later